the rest of the jury, the members of the jury. So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name, as has been mentioned, is uh, Norman Melchor Peña. The rest of the jury with us today, uh, four seniors. There is, first of all, uh, Maria Chiara Martin. Epo. Epo is Jim McDonnell. He's from the UK. Maria Chiara is from Torino. So from uh, seniors, we have viewed, as a sort of mythology overview, Actually, the TV documentaries that you have seen some of them already, the criteria that was, uh, that was put to us and that we have used actually because most of us have already been in a number of film festivals, so the criteria sort of is, is the same that we put. But reading the letter as well of our chairman president yesterday, it's centered mainly on the content and the professional quality uh, in all those films. Uh, the first, so we, out of all the documentaries, we selected actually one uh, winner. And but please wait before to say the name because... No, uh, not yet, not yet. Okay. I'm just telling what we have. Uh, Let's keep the suspense. Just a name and then uh, the two commendations, okay, okay. Uh, for those ones. So for the Signis Prize, just to explain what Signis does a bit. Signis is actually a worldwide Catholic organization. Uh, in the media as well, we help uh, many people, especially in um, countries like Africa. Uh, we are actually in 140 countries as well, helping the media uh, in that particular country. So we, we send them some modules about film education, centering mainly on, uh, we could say, values, gospel values, human values, and that's what uh, we have uh, actually mentioned and uh, what we do. So the films that uh, have been um, chosen are short lists. Out of the 42 that we, that we did, we chose actually, as I mentioned, we have a winner and then two commendations. As a method of uh, style of doing how we selected it, it was very, very good that uh, what we did was actually each of us um, have seen seven, at least 14, 14, uh, 14 each. And out of, the seven, out of those 14, uh, we came up already here, we came up with at least four. So all in all, uh, out of the things that we have watched already, there was, uh, I think, uh, 14 and 14, four and four, so around 12 uh, films that we have seen. And in those 12, what we have uh, viewed uh, out of those 12. Um, Let's go with the two and after we okay. go to the winner. Yes, okay. The two that we have uh, in terms of commendations, uh, the two that we have liked or we agreed on is first of all uh, the documentary, the Italian documentary Lampedusani from TV 2000 from Italy. It's a story as we know already of uh, the island of uh, Lampedusa and how in a positive way, the people and the citizens of uh, Lampedusa have welcomed uh, these people. It's actually nice because of the poetry embedded in it. The poetry and also the dialogues that has come in it. The relationship with water, the images of the water, and also uh, uh, the images of the boats and all that were put in a nice, very nice poetry really. Uh, Italian poetry and translated nicely as well in English. So the images that was placed there and as well the content of that and the value afterwards, especially that of fear, that of fear and how to suppress the fear, the immediate fear and how it can be overcome. Uh, so the second one, <clears throat> so I don't know if we give the commendation now, the award now or no, you then, just uh, okay, tell me the, the second one. The second us. one is called, uh, as we have also read already, The Children on the Front Lines by CH4, United Kingdom. We thought um, here we have a bit of a discussion as a jury uh, because of the use of the children and all that and all the arm. But uh, we have said that this particular documentary is actually challenging and provoking 
challenging and provoking that uh, could give a good sort of challenge to how the present system, or even how the government today view even war and the place of children in it. So at least to put some policies in it and all, all those sorts. Uh, it was interesting, the dialogue between the children, how they view the war in terms of how, how, how they live in it. But in all of this, there's also that value, truly, that how they wanted to live uh, their life normally. And there is always the desire, and then the desire of uniting the family in death or in life. The children has mentioned, even the family, they will always be together. And now we just change a little bit. And the winner is? And the winner that we have seen? The second chapter of our story begins. David visits Japan in the spring of 2014. He wants to thank Naoki for the book that has helped him so much. I'm curious. I'm excited, and I'm honored. Mm. That's at least three. <laughs> Naoki jumps up and down, both when he's upset and when he's happy. Today, he's jumping for joy. <laughs> and the winner that we have chosen, as you have seen, is what you taught me about my son from H NHK from Japan. And uh, the director of uh, is here, so I call. Uh, Miss Takuya Mariyama in the its year and uh, the price will we uh, go to yeah let's uh, take this one okay, okay. Uh, can I just read read the motivation for okay. sure uh, so the director we know already Takuya Mariyama it's a film that stands out among the documentary entries that we thought the documentary entries are all varied but what stands out is this particular film a sensitive presentation of of the inner life of Noaki Higashima, a young man with autism who wrote a best-selling book translated into many languages entitled The Reason Why I Jump. The film is a journey of life, hope, and inspiration that reveals that there is something more to people with autism, that fragility should not be an excuse to set people apart. In a compelling way, the film mirrors the thoughts and aspirations of Noaki who teaches us that abilities and capabilities of people with autism should be understood and actually appreciated. Part of the strength of the film lies in the use of delicate and oblique camera shots that respect the sense of self of the main protagonist. Overall, the film presents a rounded approach to autism and how people should actually respond to it. So, uh, and uh, now for uh, the prize? For the prize, um, Ken Matsumiya, hope I did it right, will receive the prizes from NHK Japan. The executive producer should be somewhere. The executive producer is here. Okay. Don't be shy. Yeah. I would just like to ask if I could call my, since there are only two, my sure. co-jurors here. Of course, yes, please. So I call Martina and stage, Jim. Please. Let's take a picture can, can together, so come. it's fine. Anyway, we need to wait at the major. Please, Mr. President. Come on, come on, come on.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, please. Ah, uh, I, and I know, but he ran away. <laughs> what should I do? Uh, please, can you just can you, can you please please, uh, please can you just say we would ask a little bit? Sorry, <laughs> myself. I just speak Japanese. By the way. My Japanese is very, you know, not that good, but let's try. Uh, very surprised. I don't know <laughs> this price. So, uh, sorry, I, I read memo. Uh, uh, Julia, Secretary uh, to Flex Italia, and Jerry, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of the, uh, our production team, uh, Thank you very much for uh, selecting NHK's documentary, My Son, uh, for the single prize, such an honor, uh, received this. Thank you very much. Ah, eh, <laughs> この番組を作ったディレクターも本当はここに駆けつけたかったと思いますけど、あの残念ながら間に合いませんでした。あのイタリア賞をもらうことっていうのは日本でも制作者にとってすごく名誉のことで、えー、これを励みに次のまた新しい番組に取り掛かっていきたいと思っていると思います。本当にどうもありがとうございました。I'm sure they would love to come here to, to have such a great honor. And we are very surprised that um, you gave us uh, this, this. And then on behalf of them, uh, in Japan, pre-Italia is such a, a prestige as a prize. And every uh, director's producers really aim to win. Uh, it's very difficult to, because of the high level of uh, productions all over the world. But I'm sure they love to past this is, uh, to hear this news and thank you so much for everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Bene, adesso aspettiamo ancora il sindaco, abbiamo varie... So, sorry, uh, <laughs> we're waiting for the mayor, we have a different choice. Uh, I can sing a song, karaoke, what you want, or we just have a, a break. Um, so, what do you want to do? Let's dance a little bit. Everybody up. So we can dance <laughs> or we can make a karaoke. Let's, because we give the prize to Japanese, so that's why. Uh, maybe waiting, uh, he's on the way, coming. So maybe, uh, uh, could I invite the, the three jury president, uh, that we, the television president of the jury? Could I invite them here again? So we choose the third option, no karaoke, no sing a song, so we ever, no, yes, we have the third Let's option. Let's just go serious and ask you questions. And yes, ask the questions. And terrorize a little bit about documentary, maybe I, not. I'll let not. you do that, because, no, no, you know, no, no, no. The women, do, women do better, so <laughs> I'm fine. You want to what, sing? <laughs> Tell a joke? I, uh, I have a question as a pre-Italia secretary general to, uh, what about the categories of this year? Are you satisfied or not? Would you suggest something new or not? Uh, this is, okay, I, I give the, the microphone to them. Uh, maybe I can uh, borrow some time to think about my answer. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I knew I was the third choice. Um, the categories were, were, sorry, the question being, again, was the categories were no, you very satisfied. Satisfied. We, you want I mean, to change or were, add something? No, I, I, the categories, I think, covered for us in the drama sense all the areas that we, we would uh, want to give an award to, uh, you know, very exciting categories that we had to go through. I personally think, yeah, the categories satisfy the need of showing different types of performing arts documentaries. But we wish to have more performing arts documentaries because there were really few. And I think the broadcaster should take more risks and to like to have more production that films the real art going on in each country. Um, yes, I've been thinking about it now. And... Uh, 
Uh, I think the categories were satisfying in that way, but we do think that there were 42 entries, which is really a lot. And um, in our, our point of view, there were some entries which we really doubted whether it's a documentary or not. So a pre-selection would be maybe a good idea for the documentary uh, genre. Well, another question. But would you suggest something new for next year? A new category missing or not? No, I think no. I think because within documentary, like the docudrama, or the you also have the ego uh, uh, document, and and I think you can all bring it uh, under the cultural and general interest. So I think, uh, yeah, I think it covers for 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 now. Yeah, I have no. I have no particular, I d didn't feel any particular need to have one more subcategory, personally. I think one area that we would like to think about really would be the comedy side of, uh, of the categories that we had to go through, because we did have a, a, a sort of rolling over in terms of defining, for example, Biker Boys as a drama, uh, and uh, the speed dating one, it's more in the comedy, and if we had a comedy category, I think that would give us another another level in terms of award processes and also i just think that um, the pre-selection process for us we had to go through an awful a lot of material and having an online system uh, to pre-select would be ideal so that all the jurors could be uh, you know remotely looking through it uh, go through the process download the material would be very useful so that we've got them on an ipad that we can actually look at uh, rather than, you know, trying to it, read it, it, look at them online, and then have that pre-selection where you could then cull that back, all arrive, and then concentrate in the, in the overall structure itself, uh, which would save an immense amount of time. You say download the selection. Uh, it is uh, uh, the member decided. If we, don't down, we, if we cannot download for the pre-selection, it's because the member doesn't want us to allow it to download. Yeah. They only allowed it to, to, to have a, um, a, an online preview, yes. It's a question of rights and it's much more easier. You are right, maybe it could be better, but it's a, it's, it's a matter of rights. So it's the only technical reason, let's say technical reason, that's we, we cannot download, okay? Okay, thank you for all of us, and uh, let's meet tomorrow, anyway. <laughs> okay. Mr. Piero Fassino is arrived, the mayor of uh, Torino, and uh, I want to ask uh, to introduce to, uh, the prize of the President of the Italian Republic to the President of the jury, Mr. Jaron Hope, the RHK International Relations, please. First of all, I would like to say it has been 